מאה פסיאטה agroplants.org also known as silver vase plant or urn plant so before we start don't forget to subscribe and if you would like to grow this plant there is a link below link in the right top side and if you purchase it this is donation for this channel so this herbescus bromelads uh, it's perennial evergreen and used as ornamental plant for the leaves as you can see and for the flowers and the brackets can be used as a cut flower a uh, a lot of time people grow it as an annual as a bouquet they just buy it as a bouquet they just make it blue you know you just buy it with the flowers and with the brackets and you just let it bloom when it's dies the flowers they just throw it away so as a bouquet a live plants bouquet It can grow in variety of climate uh, let's say that mostly it's a uh, tropic but with the right care even subtropic and mediterranean usually it's uh, grown as an indoor plant as a house plant growing hardiness can be from 11 plus and with the right over winter care and it's highly not uh, recommendable to do it 10b The leaves color green can be with white or yellow stripes dots. The leaves grow in rosette structure. Uh, except these the flowers are purple. And the flowers are small. The brackets are uh, what you see is uh, flowers create a spear shape in uh, purple to a uh, pink to purple colors. So how to grow it? So it requires well-drained soil, moist soil, better to grow it above 7 It tells you seven tells you it's something like uh, sorry it's 44 Fahrenheit except this uh, better to use purified water or rainwater soil should be something light and and anertic because in the nature those plants are mostly air plants live on the rocks uh, or crocks a uh, crock of a tree and air roots uh, and in the tropical forest with a big amount of rain that keeps the plane in humidity all the time because there is high humidity uh, but be aware that most of the water never stay on the same sp- spot they just go down and there is always water so it's never dry but it's not sit in a puddle usually and uh, so the pl- you can start to grow it by seeds that it's highly not recommend a uh, plant or daughter plants daughter plants it's an easy way to separate them you just separate it from the mother plants and except this uh, to separation it's required usually just uh, take it out of the pot uh, wash it a little bit do it with a hand not with a sharp object uh, be aware that this plant uh, like water inside the Uh, I will explain a little bit better, but it might attract mosquitoes, so it's something to consider. Pests can be aphids, shrimps, weevils, kale insect, and mealybugs. Pruning season can be all the year. It's usually dead leaves and bloom stems. Height can be from 20 to 60 cm. It's mean 0.8 to two f- until 2 feet. In the right condition, it's a medium growing speed, but... Uh, can be very slowly especially if the plant is young so the water requirement a small amount of water and need to put the water in the middle of the rosette leaves you know it's always rainy so there is some water inside this is a tract mosquito to grow there so it's something that you should consider and need humidity and moist but well ventilated and well drained soil uh, except this light condition will be full shade to half shade but morning sun will be enough uh, if you do it in the m- you have mid midday sun it will burn the plant it's too much it's, uh, maybe if you have really high humidity and it's like you know like to live in a fog probably it's okay but except this I'm not aware that it can survive the sun at least not here Uh, it's possible to grow it indoor as a house plant and mostly people grow it as a house plant uh, because it's better to grow it indoor uh, and in a pot it's easier to maintain uh, if you grow it in a container so again something super light uh, can be cork 
uh, coconut cork, uh, better not heavy soil, something light with perlite and vermiculite uh, will be great. Usually it's bloom in the winter to the early spring, but you can provoke the bloom in any season. I don't think that it's a good idea, it's a bad idea and it's something that you should, it's possible to do. So if you want to bring it as a bouquet, as a present, you can actually do it with ethylene. A rotten apple will do the job. So it's something that uh, it's not a problem, but uh, it's not effect well on the plant. So I think it's a bad idea. So after I explain it, it sounds really awful to grow this plant. It's actually not really hard. You just put some water, a fertilizer like a few times a year and usually you finish all the cares that you need of course to cut uh, prune some dead leaves and bloom stem this is okay and if it's it doesn't bloom it means that you do something wrong again you can provoke the blooming by ethylene by putting dead apple with a nylon on the plant but except this usually it will bloom when it will, will arrive to the right uh, condition that's all from growplants.org. Don't forget to subscribe, visit our website, and of course, if you have any question, just ask. You have here links about more videos, some list, subscribe, and of course, purchase a plant, and this is donation for our channel. I hope you enjoy, and come visit us again.